Scott here with tutorialstop.com. Here I'm going to show you a really cool text effect. It's very easy to do, doesn't take a lot of time, but it works great. Here I just have a picture of a beach. I'm going to get my text tool and I'll just click on my picture there and type in beach. And in this case, I'm going to use all uppercase letters. Get my move tool and do a control T. If you don't like using Control T, I'm using Control T to do a free transform, which allowed me just to use uh, make this bigger by grabbing one of the corners and dragging it out. I want it pretty big because we're going to fill the background um, background uh, into the text, or at least make it look that way. Um, so you can see there's our layer there. You can always go to Edit Free Transform as well, and you can see. I can just transform it there. I like to use a nice thick font like Impact. Um, I'm not using Impact right now, but uh, yeah, I'm using Arial Rounded, but the thicker fonts work better. Once you've done that, we're going to go over to our Layers Palette. And here you can see, here's our text layer. I'm going to take that fill and I'm going to just drop it all the way down. Now you can't see anything at all now. We've made it invisible, but this is where the neat part comes in. I'm going to come down make sure your text layer is selected so I'm going to select that text layer now I'm going to come down and click on this little F to open up your special effects there and uh, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see it okay I'm going to click here I'm going to add a bevel so I'm going to choose bevel and emboss and as soon as I do that the bevel of the text just stands out kind of like magic and you can come into your layer styles I'm going to drag this up and I like to be able to uh, make sure previews checked. I like to be able to see our layer style menu and the text and you can just uh, adjust these settings here. And I like to use just a little bit so that I can see the picture underneath come through. Click OK. So what's really cool is the fill only adjusts the fill of the text layer but doesn't affect the, um, the layer style. So you can see there's the layer effect, the bevel and emboss. Roll that back up. So it doesn't affect the, it only affects the fill. So that comes right out. So you can also use stuff like uh, stroke. You can come down here and uh, choose stroke. And from here you can choose you know, different colors and different sizes. So all these will work and they don't get knocked out by the fill. Now if you adjust your opacity, it does. It makes everything go away. But if you do just the fill, it does does the fill of the letters. And what's cool about this is you can get your move tool and just move this wherever you like, position exactly as so. And you can also always change it just by double clicking on the text layer, and that will go ahead and allow you to select the text and retype the text. So there you go. So we can just say sand. You can move that wherever you like it. So the text remains editable. Very cool. Easy to do and just takes a couple minutes.